Joe McGuire here with Boxing Bands and I'm here with Tom McCarthy after a comfortable enough win here in the Europa Hotel. Um, I say comfortable because like, on the scorecard you weren't quite comfortable Tommy but a uh, frustrating opponent here tonight wasn't it? Yeah, you know he's just um, very negative style so I was, I was trying my hardest to get him to engage and you know phone as many feints as I could and stuff but he just he, he wasn't he wasn't um, changing he was sticking to his plan and, and that was it he wanted to see the last bell and he did so frustrating but listen it's another win on the record yeah for you obviously it's just you've got the win so it's really about the next step now isn't it yeah like, I don't want to be fighting that kind of level of opposition because they just make you look well and um Obviously, I haven't seen it, but I felt like it looked bad. And um, I want to fight it at, not at a higher level. So, you know, it takes two to dance, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm. this, this, these guys come and, the, you know, for a player, the people who own the, no, on the road, they earn their money, but, you know, they're survivors. And it's, it's not like, well, boxing. It's not good for the viewers or for people like me who try and put on a show. Yeah. Like you were saying there earlier, um, look, it, was a, like it wasn't my best performance, but look, people are just going to forget about it tomorrow, so it's just a bit the next step for you. Uh, what is, I know you were saying you're looking at a big fight now, when about is that big fight coming, do you think? Just whenever, whenever, you know, Mark takes, takes control of it and takes care of it, so, yeah. you know, I'll be right whenever, like, I'm always in the gym, always training, so... I, don't, I couldn't give you a time, sc- time scale, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I was going to say is uh, uh, you were probably the first boxer tonight to actually give a couple of vocal to the first one that everyone liked tonight, like, so you must have rehearsed a bit. Like. <laughs> no, I tried, and then I was, you know, I thought she would have started talking to me straight away, mm-hmm. ask Gilga, and then start talking in English, and then the stuff that I wanted to say. I forgot how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I, I showed up, I'd said a couple of fuckles, so, you know. <laughs> uh, another thing I was going to say just before I wrap it up, uh, this week obviously was the anniversary of Darren Sutherland and uh, like I put a video of you to it in the high performance sparring a bit. Um, what's your uh, recollection and memory of Darren like? He was like um, a big brother to me on the team. I'm um, a first man when I was a bit. 14 or 15 and um, it was just you know somebody who I could relate to because he looked like me you know and he was he was um, we had similar backgrounds um, similar athletic backgrounds similar um, yeah, the uh, yeah my mother from the Caribbean and yeah. uh, similar journeys in life you know he lived in London for a while and it was all there was a lot of parallels, so we just we just gelled, and he was always giving me advice on training. Like he's the first person that I ever heard of doing strength and conditioning, had dad plans. He was just you know ripped to shreds. Now you look at boxers, they're all in phenomenal shape, but he was sticking out like a sore thumb back then because you know it was a lot of old school training. But he was um definitely a pioneer and someone who I looked up to. Yeah, well, look, uh, Tommy, thanks very much for your time. And uh, look, hopefully, big fight next. And uh, yeah. chat to you then. All right, thank you. Thanks. Come on. <laughs>